Well, hello, my YouTube family. I'll put the pillows up front this time because uh, Mr. Pasha, which is what my father calls him, Big Pasha, uh, was lying down in the back where the pillows are normally supposed to be. So now I put the pillows up front here. So you may get a show. I'm not sure. He's playing with one of his favorite toys. So if you hear a little rattling, that's one of his toys on the bed. And hello, what's he doing? Oh, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to play on the pillows. Well, excuse me. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, people. It's Thursday. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus, on this planet Earth. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, hi. It's April something. I don't. 16, 17, I don't know. I really don't, people. I really don't. And uh, red is the color of the day. This is thanks to Devin Antoine because she was wearing, and I asked her what it was, and she told me yesterday in one of her videos in her skincare video, she was wearing this lipstick. That although I was paying attention to what she was saying, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. I was like, what the hell is she wearing? And as it turns out, you know, I asked my girl. That's right, Devin, I'm talking about you. I asked my girl, uh, excuse you, uh, but what, what are you wearing on your lips? Can you, can you help a sister out? Mac Red was what she was wearing. And I'm like, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. So I chose a red of my own liking. It's slightly matte, but not a matte. In any event, I'll tell you what it is. But let's first work with the liner, as we always do. The liner is Jordana Plush Red. Aligned. And filled. I already did a lip look on this before, people. This is Wet n' Wild's Stop Light Red. Here it is. This is the packaging of Stoplight Red. This is what Stoplight Red looks like. There you go. And this is a swatch of Stoplight Red. Look almost like the one that she was wearing yesterday. Looks like Mac Red. But hers was a little glossier. It was a little shinier. This is of a cream formula. I, 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 I wouldn't call it exactly a matte, but it has matte tendencies. Let me just put it that way. So, you know, you're going to have to do a little Carmex underneath and your lips will be quite happy for the rest of the day. This does not budge, doesn't go anywhere. You could be in a hurricane, tornado, you could be dropped in hell. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying it's not going anywhere. Okay. So, you know, but I'll tell you this much, I'm going to wipe off this swatch. It is going to stain the back of my hand like nobody's business. Because that's what this lipstick does. Oh! Oh, actually, I don't know if you can still... Yeah, you can see it. Leaves a stain, people. Leaves a stain. Okay. Oh, he is very antisocial today. If yesterday he was all over the place, today, not so much. He's just very antisocial. He's like, okay, because he was waiting for me on the bed. And obviously now that I'm home, he really could not care less. I don't know how I could love an animal so much. How is that possible? I really, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's not like I've always wanted a cat all my life. I really did not want a cat all my life. I've always really been a dog person. When I was younger, I had puppies. Always a dog person, never a cat. Well, only because my mother didn't like cats, so I couldn't really, even if I was a cat person, she would just not allow a cat in the house. <sighs> then 2013 was a big turnaround for me. I don't know what the hell happened. Started watching cat videos, couldn't get enough of them, just obsessing over them one after the other, after the other, after the other. Funny, funny cat videos, sad cat videos, adopted cat videos. I was like, you know what? Somebody's trying to tell me something. 
in the month of June on the year 2013, Tomcat entered my life. And there you have it. Okay, moving right along. So, Stoplight Red, Wet and Wild, this is the lips of the day. Okay? Um, what a day, people. Okay, I don't know if anybody out there is a sports fanatic, sports watcher, basketball in particular. We had a guest in-house who came to give a talk by the name of Vincent Baker. I don't even remember what team he's on. Okay. Lakers, I think. I'm not sure. I have no idea. His name is Vincent Baker. The man is mighty tall, but then again, he is a basketball player. He entered and I was like, well, hello. <laughs> you know, he was, he was up there. Okay. He was up there. Very nice gentleman. Very nice face. Beautiful smile. Had my heart. Had my heart. I was like, somebody needs to tell him, drop him a line, uh, let me let him know that I'm available. But he's 43. I'm seven years older than he is. And I'm sure I'm not the one. So it was nice to have him in the house. He came and gave a speech. And um, you know, it went it went over rather well. I could not attend because I had to take care of the switchboard. Half the company was in the one boardroom. They had these chairs. They ordered these chairs. First of all, the boardroom is, is kind of like dark colors. It's very executive looking, very dark, dark oak mahogany walls and stuff like that why did you order all white chairs you know like those little wedding chairs but not the wooden ones those kind of like lunch chairs that if you go to like some kind of a luncheon those plastic chairs that's what they ordered for the boardroom i took a look at that boardroom i was like mm, somebody done effed up over here so Hop along. She was kind of responsible for the whole thing, but it was not her mess because when they asked her, we need to order some chairs, she suggested to the marketing department whose who's department it is to order things for any kind of event that we're going to have. She emails them the proper chairs in black. No, they go and order the white ones. She said, no, I'm not. That's not that's not on me. And I agreed with her a thousand percent. In any event, the, 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 the talk went well. Everybody was very happy to see him and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, all you have to do is tell any company of any kind, because I worked at a radio station where we had, you know, celebrity guests coming in every now and then. So I know, I know the look in the eyes like he's a god. No, he's not. He's just a person. He's a very tall person who happens to play basketball for a living. That's all he is. He's not no God. He doesn't walk on water. He just, he's not floating in here. Okay? He's just a person. But I saw the look. And I saw the look on the guy's eyes was like, oh, I admire this guy. The look on the women's eyes was like, I must have him now. Really? Half y'all married. If anybody's going to have him, it should be me. But was I able to attend this talk, this speech? No, because someone has to take care of the switchboard. I, I really didn't mind because I was the first one to see him before any, any of those hangers on. I was the first one to see him. He walked in and he saw me first. Okay. I was not impressed. I admired him, wore a very nice suit. And, you know, he's a very good looking guy and everything. But I wasn't like... <laughs> No, 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 no. I've been there, done that. All celebrities are people. Before they were celebrities, they were people. They still are people. They're still humans. All they do is a job that everybody happens to know. Their life is on display, but they're still human. Yes, they are wealthy as all hell, but they're still human. Hello? 
in any event, that was that. Oh, and another one bit the dust. Just wanted to let you know. I found out the hard way, of course, because of course, why would the receptionist know? Because she's the one that gets calls for, for employees in the company. You would think somebody would inform the receptionist that, oh, by the way, so-and-so no longer works here. So if any calls should come for this particular person, transfer it to another person. Okay, so somebody who sounded sort of semi-important called for this particular person. I transferred them to his line. He calls back and he says, I just got rerouted to some other phone phone line. Um, did you maybe mistake his extension for someone else. I said, you know what? Let me, let me, can I put you on hold? Hop along happened to be at my desk. She was at my desk practically all day today. She was at my desk and I asked her, is so-and-so still here? She goes, oh no, he left yesterday. Yesterday was his last day. I was in yesterday. Why didn't I get the memo? Why didn't I get that memo? So I had to tell the person on the line that this person no longer works here. Who else would you like to be transferred to? He gave me the other person's name and I transferred him over. I don't know what to say, people. I really, you know, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just, I am just grateful and appreciative that I have a job. That, that really is, that, that, that's the end all be all of it. Grateful to have a paycheck. Got paid yesterday, have no money. Well, I do have money, but it's really going to go for his food tomorrow. I'm going to get his new prescription food tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay. Just. I found a pet smart like I told you like around the corner from my job and the price of the food is 20 2032 or something for a four pound bag I'll have to show them the prescription and blah 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 yeah okay so that's that's basically it in a nutshell. I really have nothing else to tell you. Cutie was all over the place. He had to deal with those nasty ass chairs and he had to bring them up with the help of his coworkers, bring them up, set them up after the whole speech was take them down, bring them down. Oh, it was yeah, he was not happy. He was not happy today and I think he has a, a another he has another exam sometime before the end of this week or something. It's a it's a at home exam, and he says even the at home exam is tough. So, but the last test that he had, he got a ninety six. So, my boy is quite smart. Okay, he's quite intelligent. I keep calling him my boy. He ain't nobody's boy. Not mine anymore. He's somebody else's permanently, ring and all. So, but you know what I mean cutie he'll always be my boy in any event that's it people that is it i have informed you about vincent baker i don't know who vincent baker is i've never heard of vincent baker then again i don't watch basketball so why would i i have informed you about another one bit the dust so there's that and I've informed you about my day I've informed you about this beautiful red lipstick with a hint it's just got a whisper of pink underneath can you see it I know I can see it can you see it oh and by the way my eye it's still it's still, it's still got a little you know like this part is kind of dried out so I have to you know I have to really kind of moisturize it but for the most part it's it's the swelling's gone down and everything so I think I'm back to normal but I won't be putting on any eye makeup until next week so I'm going to rest it throughout the weekends and all of this and I I've got mascara on but you know not heavily but uh yeah that's it that's it that's all Mr. Man is at the doorway giving me his back as if I'd done something wrong. I don't know. I don't know what I've done wrong. 
breathing, I guess. I don't know. He forgets who feeds him, I think, once in a while. You know, he, he he's king of the castle, but this king can't feed himself. He can't feed himself. What kind of king are you if you can't feed your own damn self? He forgets every now and then. Don't worry, I remind him. And on that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Oh, by the way, oh, wait a minute. I'm saying goodbye, and I really shouldn't. Because I'm a day late, but I'm not a dollar short. Um, Yes, let us discuss Real Housewives of New York, because I watched it last night. And I watched the, 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 the reunion part three, the final. I can't, I can't with Kim and Kyle. I can't with them. Kim, what? I can't with her. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No more with her. I'm done. I'm done with those two. I thought I was done with Brandy. Well, I've been done with Brandy a long time ago. But these two have issues, deep-rooted issues. Okay? Deep-rooted. Like, and then... This is, this is what Kim does. She teases about the fact that, oh, we've got to talk about this, that, and the other. And then when somebody confronts her about, well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I'd rather not discuss it on television. Bitch, you brought it up. So don't, don't insinuate something and then don't follow through. You're going to insinuate, oh, I know something. It's like, oh, I got a secret. I got a secret. I got a secret. Hello, I got a secret. And then everybody's like, well, okay, tell us what the secret is. Oh, I'm not going to tell you what the secret is. So why are you hollering you got a secret if you are not going to come through with telling what the secret is? Just like what she did with Lisa Rinna. I know something about your husband. I know something about your husband. And Lisa's like, really? Do tell. I'm giving you permission to tell us right here on television. You go right ahead. Tell, tell me what it is because I'm quite curious. Oh, I'd rather not discuss it with you on television. Bitch, you don't know Jack. You don't know a damn thing. Okay, so stop trying to be relevant. Stop trying to make yourself more important than you really are. You're a has-been actress. You got issues, you got drinking problems, but okay, you've got them under control. That's why you're taking somebody else's pill and it makes you go loopy. And then people wonder, oh, is she back on the drink again? And then you have to fight everybody. No, I'm not on the drink again. I made a mistake. I slipped up this, this, and the other. And then you're going to fight with your sister. Now, okay, Kyle, she kind of wimpy ass. You know, mm, she's been acting like the big sister for far too long and... I, for the longest time, thought Kyle really was the older sister. Turns out Kim is the older sister. Okay, well, Kim is, you know, I, I am woman, hear me roar now, now that she got her alcoholism in check. She's all, uh, all about that. I've got it under check. You don't have to talk about it anymore. You don't have to talk about me with anybody anymore. Okay, blah, blah, this, that, and the other. So why don't you just address your issues with your sister and clean that shit up and then just, just move on? Oh, we've got issues. We've got issues. What are the issues, Kim? I'd rather not discuss it on television. Then don't bring it up. Don't, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. I am so bored with her. I am so bored with her. Okay. The reunion, done. Let us talk about Real Housewives of New York, shall we? Bethany's back. Bethany is back. And apparently... Her and Ramona are at it again. The Ramona Coaster, as Bethany calls it. I don't know. Either Ramona is jealous of Bethany, but she is quite defensive as soon as Bethany opens her mouth about anything. And then she's going to act like Bethany is a problem. Hush, Bethany. Be quiet. Calm down. Bethany it wasn't screaming. She wasn't yelling. She was... Bethany's trying to tell her, I am calm. Calm down, Bethany. It's okay. It's okay. Ramona, you Fruit Loops, okay? You, 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 you're fruity. You're, you're fruity. You, you're gone. Over the bend. Over and around the bend. She's gone. Oh, there goes my light situation. Okay, it's giving me quite a bit of brightness, but it's also blinding me in the process. Hold on a moment. My tissue that diffuses the bright light. It's quite bright, people. I mean, I know it gives me a nice, a nice lighting situation, but it's also blinding me. So I've got the fan on, which is why it's, um, the paper is blowing all over the place. But I am not going to lose my train of thought when it comes to the Ramona Coaster. Okay. 
she and Bethany have a history. Okay, I don't know what it is. I think Ramona is basically jealous of Bethany. Excuse me. Tearing up the carpet again. Mm -hmm. In any event, um, like she, I don't know. I, Bethany was trying to be at least civil to her. And then Bethany, unfortunately, had the misfortune of inviting, you know, everybody to her place. And Bethany was like, oh, no, you can't invite my, the guests that I invited to my house, to your house. They are my guests. You can't have them. Bethany's like, OK, I really don't. I'm not getting involved in this conversation because you fruity as a fruitcake. OK, she she really is. She is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Gone around the bend. I think this whole, I'm not divorced yet. Okay, so you're separated. What is it? What can we say about you not being with Mario anymore? Because the whole phrase of you not being with Mario anymore is too damn long to say. Bitch, you're divorced. Okay? The papers have not been signed, but you're heading in that direction, so you're divorced. Okay? Let's let's just call a spade a spade. You're getting a divorce. You're going to be divorced. You're divorced. Okay? Bun, done. I'm done. Then she's apologizing to Luann. And I am with Luann on the fact, okay, I'll accept your apology, but I ain't going to trust you as far as I can throw your sorry ass. Okay? Because Ramon, Ramona, I, I really, I can't with her. But let's, let, let's switch it to Carol. Carol, I love me some Carol, honey. Carol, Carol thinks exactly the way I do. Uh, she is attracted to attractive men. I am attracted to attractive men. But see, she goes all out and flirts. I mean, she is just. But then when she's on a date, she's all giggly and girly. And and and. so I don't understand. She is aggressive in her flirtatiousness, her flirtatiousness, her flirting. But when it comes to an actual date, she gets all up. She gets all nervous. So I don't understand how that works. It's like she she likes to tease. She likes to tease. And then when the guy, you know, turns around and says, okay, let's go out. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. Well, I don't know about all of that. So she cracks me the hell up. She was flirting. You want to talk about some heavy ass flirting? Flirting. She was flirting with um, Luann's uh, cook, house person, whatever. He was kind of cute though, but he also a youngin. As far as she's concerned, then let us let us talk about Sonia. Jesus have mercy. This one just doesn't know how to flirt. At least Carol, she has a cutesy kind of way of flirting. It's it's flirting. You can tell that she's flirting, but she's not blatantly, obviously flirting. Sonia needs to take a page out of Carol's book because she she was flirting with this dude. But coming on like gangbusters, like a Mack truck, like a freight train. And the guy was like, you know, like, mm, okay. But men are stupid because they like their egos to be rubbed, among other things. And so he was just, he was going to stand there and take it. And she was talking about, oh, I hope I'm not, you know, I'm not flirting with somebody else's man. And then this, this, and that. Who says that? Who says that? Who says that? Nobody but Sonia. So, yeah, Sonia, mm, I really, I, I don't have, I don't, I don't understand her at all. And then there's Heather. And they showed her on Bethany's show. And what is the first thing that they showed her doing? Tell me, tell me, because y'all know what I'm going to say it anyway. What, 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 what is her phrase? What is her phrase and what did she say on Bethany's show? Holla. Oh. I want to know how Heather and Bethany are going to get along because those are two alpha girls. And Ramona thinks she's an alpha girl, but she ain't no real alpha girl. She ain't no real alpha girl. Because Carol, remember when they, they gave, you know, they spoke to, well, she spoke to us. And she's like, war of the alpha male, alpha females. 
Ramon ain't no real alpha. You know, she ain't no real alpha. Bethany, alpha. Heva, alpha. So we shall see. We shall see how that's going to turn out. So far, so good. I mean, they, they, you didn't really see them talking to each other all that much. So I don't know what the relationship's going to be. We shall see further down the line. They may be, they may end up being the best of friends, or they may end up scratching each other's eyes out. Who the hell knows? Tune in. But I did see, did y'all see next week? The snippet for next week? Why is is Kelly, uh, uh, uh what's her face? Kelly Bell Simone or whatever her name is. What, what her? Why is she back? And see, I'm with Bethany on that. Luann invites the girls to lunch, but she fails to mention that Kelly, what's her name again? L Simone, something Simone, Bell Simone, Ill Simone, something like that. I don't know. Kelly, crazy Kelly from a couple of seasons back. Yeah, her. She's going to be invited. And Luann already knows the history between Kelly and Bethany. Why are you telling everybody else that Kelly's coming, but you you fail to mention to Bethany that Kelly's coming? See, that's a little shady to me. That's a little shady. Mm. You said in everybody else the memo, but you failed to keep to include Bethany in the memo. The one who has the most issues with this person. Child, these real, these real housewife shows, they're giving me agita. They are giving me agita. Then I know around the bend, somewhere in the middle of late spring, early summer, here comes the real housewives of the OC, Orange County, the original. I'm waiting on that one too. So we shall see, people. We shall see. But oh, can I tell you that Lou Ann's house in Sag Harbor is the ish. And excuse Sonia, she was talking about, you know, the house that she had was very grand. And now she downsized to Comfy Cozy. I take Comfy Cozy any damn day because Comfy Cozy to me is grand. Okay. See, but that's what you get with rich people. Rich people, they are used to opulence and big and, you know, a room has to be a New York City block in order for it to be grand and, you know, ostentatious. Why? Because you have to show off the fact that you have money. You can't just be subtle about your money. See, this is why I like Luann. Because she's she's got class. She really does. She really does have class. And she downsized. And that Sag Harbor house, first of all, it's in Sag Harbor, Long Island. Deep, deep Long Island. You don't see many of us, if you know what I mean. Down over there. Okay. Deep. Well, only money can afford to go live in Sag Harbor. We don't really have that kind of money. I'm just saying. Oprah, she could get a place in Sag Harbor. Oprah, but you need Oprah money. To live in Sag Harbor. Deep. Deep. Deep in Long Island. I'm just saying, people. I'm, I'm being real. Come on now. It's I'm not saying it's a race thing, but I'm saying it's a money thing. And not many of us have that kind of money. Some of us do. Some of us are wealthy. You know, I'm hoping um, that this... And this, this can give me that kind of money. Not that I want to live in Sag Harbor, deep, deep, deep in Long Island. I don't know. I don't know. But I do want to move. I eventually want to do that. So I have, I have fallen off the trails, haven't I? I just, I just, uh, right off, right off the rails. I'm sorry, but I was, you know, I'm, I was talking about Luann's Sag Harbor house. That is beautiful. That, to me, is ostentatious. But, of course, to people like Sonia, who, oh, I just had to close down my Paris home. Who are you trying to impress? She always, always, always turns the conversation to her. It could be about somebody else. And she will eventually find a way, turn it around, 
It's all about her. I have met people like that in my life, and they bore me to bits. <sighs> bore me to bits. I'm just saying. Okay, so that is that with that upon that. I have gone on and on. Oh, my goodness. It's half an hour. Got to go. Got to go. I love you because my Subway sandwich is waiting for me. Yes, I'm having Subway for dinner tonight. My chicken, sweet onion chicken teriyaki, baby. Yes, you get a sweet onion six-inch uh, sandwich with some chips and a drink, and it comes up to six bucks. Six and, six and change, like six fifty-three. I can do well with that. Yes, I don't feel like cooking tonight, people. And I don't feel like cooking tomorrow either. So, yeah, I already know I'm not going to be cooking tomorrow. But I do love me some Subway sandwiches. Oh, my sweet chicken teriyaki. Oh, honey. Okay, so I've got to go. Okay, it's waiting for me. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. I have done a lip look on this before, like I said. And, um, yes, let me know what you think, okay? I love you. Let me know what you think about the whole Real Housewives thing. And I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? I love you. Bye now.